gonna try and zoom in here for you. They're kind of high up there. Those are pop up flowers. And the one on the left that's purple, that one opened first, and then there's the, the green one. So um, the pop up flowers, when they first open, when they're green like that, they're female, and then they turn into a male flower. Papas don't um, really pollinate all that well, so you probably want to pollinate them yourself. And uh, generally speaking, if you have named varieties, you need to have two different varieties so that they're genetically distinct. Um, I don't know what mine are. They may be just you know what they what you would call seedling papas, which means they're just um, random seedlings. They're genetically distinct, so. Uh, I have two that are flowering. They're from the same source. And the third one, um, this one right here, is not flowering this year. Uh, I've shown videos of them before. Um, this was my biggest one, and it got snapped off in the ice storm. I'm just so disappointed because uh, I noticed on the other one back there, the flowers are on the higher portions of the tree. Um, so the highest branch that's left, there is a flower. So it is a female flower right now. So the only chance I have of getting any fruit this year are to wait until this turns into a male flower and hopefully the uh, flowers on the other plant, um, which are coming out sooner, which is not a good thing. I want them to remain female flowers. And I will try and take that male flower from the other plant and hopefully these are still female and uh, use a paintbrush and uh, distribute the pollen. Otherwise, I'm out of luck uh, getting fruit. I probably, I kind of think I'm not gonna get fruit this year. Um, maybe next year when that other tree recovers and then hopefully this one here will start growing. Cause these are, they've been in the ground for four years and they're actually getting quite big. Uh, they are easily eight feet tall the other one down there was even bigger and now it's not. Uh, this one I'm standing beside here is, is much, much taller than me. It might even be nine, nine foot. And you can see the new leaves are coming out, but they, they start to flower um, before the leaves really come out. And uh, generally speaking, um, uh, beetles and uh, flies are the, the main pollinator. The, the flowers are supposed to smell somewhat like rotting meat. I can't reach those ones, so I don't know. Uh, when this one opens up, I will, this little one right here, when it opens up, I will smell it. But uh, anyway, you need two distinct varieties, or if you just have genetically um, ones that were just kind of produced randomly, like the, which I think these ones are, because they were unnamed, um, they should be able to pollinate one another, so. <coughs> And there's my dogs going off. Anyway, thanks for watching.